Hi there, my name is Rick Vanner, I'm from The Game Creators and I'm going to do a series of little videos uh, to explain to you how to use App Game Kit. Uh, you're going to learn from the very, very start. You don't need any programming knowledge whatsoever. I'm going to teach you how to make some games with App Game Kit. We're going to start one command at a time. We might have to do a few today because we can't really get things running without a few commands. Anyway, App Game Kit is uh, available from our website, also on Steam. Here we are looking at the Steam website. Uh, you can find it by just typing App Game Kit. There we are, you see it comes up there in the search bar. We're also in the software game development section. Okay, so I'm running it. I'll go to my library of software and I will launch App Game Kit. So this is just the blank editor. This is where you do your programming. We're gonna do a new project and we're going to call it um, my very first app game kit demo. You can do a smaller name than that if you want. So we create that. Now automatically app game kit puts some commands into the editor. We don't want all those. We're going to delete those. I do control A, delete them. Okay, so we're going to do the simplest program ever. We're going to print hello world to the screen. It's a classic and you know, that's where you've got to start at the very beginning. But we do need to do a little loop, okay? So a loop is just like going around doing the same thing over and over again. And the one we're going to use is called do loop, okay? I'm just going to put it in here. Um, when a program is executed, or run, if you like, not execute, sounds like someone's been killed, um, it's got to run through the command. So it does do, and then it'll do something in there, and then it'll loop, and it'll. This do loop just goes around and around and around. Okay, that's just what we need. So we're going to use the print command. Okay, we get some help as to the different print options. And the syntax, which is sort of like the grammar for programming, is to use a curly bracket like that. And then inside that, we're going to put uh, some text, also known as a string. Yeah, a bit weird, but there you go, that's what it's called. Hello world, we'll write and we'll close that with um, quotes and that defines the string of hello world between the two quotes and we close the bracket. That's what we want to print to the screen. So we can't just run that because actually uh, AGK, when it runs the app or the game, whatever you're doing, uh, the screen needs to be synchronized. It needs to, AGK needs to be told to draw the screen. And we do that with what's called the sync command. Okay, we just put that in, and every hopefully 60 frames per second, uh, hello world will be printed to the screen. Uh, okay, let's now compile and run this AGK program. Okay, so the program is do, print, hello world, sync, loop, and go round and round and round like that. So we run, which will actually compile this program and uh, run it onto Windows. Okay, there we go, it's running. We've got Hello World. Yes, we've done our first program. Amazing. Okay, okay, it's not the world's best program, but it's a start. We close that down. Now, let's do, do something else. We're going to put another loop inside the do loop. Okay, this one's called the for next loop. Okay, I'm going to type it out. For i equals 1 to 10. Whoa, sounds very confusing, doesn't it? Okay, what is i? Um, I is a variable, okay, so it's a bit like at school where you did algebra. Um, I can hold a value, and we're saying I is going to equal to 1 at the very start of this loop, okay, and um, at the end of there, we're going to do next I, we'll just tab in the print. So it's going to go around this loop 10 times, so I equals 1, it prints hello world, next I, makes the loop go back to the 4. So then i becomes 2, does the print, next i does that to 3, and carries on till it's done it 10 times. Then it will do the sync, then it will do the loop, and all starts again. So let's run that, and we should see 10 hello worlds. There we go. Magic, eh? Now we can prove that i did go through 1 to 10 by changing this line here. We're going to add a space there, we're going to use a command called str and what that means is it's going to take 
the value of i, okay, and print it to the screen in a string. Just believe me, okay, let's run that. <laughs> And you can see that I was one, then it became two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Uh, we had to have two brackets there because we've got a bracket there. Make sure your brackets all match up. And that is the very first program in this very first video tutorial about ATK or App Game Kit. And um, yeah, you, if you get the trial version, should be able to write that program out and do the same, compile and run. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to do as many of these videos as I can, as frequently as I can. And before you know it, you're going to see sprites on the screen. You're going to hear sounds playing. It's going to be very exciting. Um, thanks for joining us. Uh, see you in the next video. And subscribe uh, if you've got a second to do that. Okay, bye.